Ahoy there, folks. I'm Captain Benzie, and today I want to take you on a very different voyage to usual. Instead of the Sea of Stars that is New Eden and EVE Online, we're swapping that out for the Salt and Spray of the High Seas in Sea of Thieves. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are watching this and thinking, Benzie, how has it taken you this long to play Sea of Thieves? And that's exactly what a friend of mine said last week and got me to re-download it and get into it. Because Sea of Thieves absolutely is a game that was on my radar the moment it was announced. I desperately wanted to play it, but it was Xbox exclusive and on PC. I didn't have a good gaming PC at the time. I've never owned an Xbox in my life, so I couldn't play it. It kind of fell to the back of my mind until last year I downloaded it for my laptop and I started playing it. I did a few of the solo missions and tried to learn the game a little bit, but well, last year happened, and I won't go into the details of all that in this video. We've just done one on that, but essentially Sea of Thieves then ended up just kind of sitting on my computer not being played, until a friend of mine last week said, why are we not playing Sea of Thieves, Benzie? And so we did. And that's what this video is going to be about. This is going to be sort of an introduction to what Sea of Thieves is, and it's going to be me sort of showcasing the good time I had the other night with said friend. So what is Sea of Thieves? Sea of Thieves essentially is one of these open world sandbox adventure games, right? It is very much like EVE Online, but rather than in space, it's on the sea. You play as a single pirate. You go out and you do whatever the heck it is you want to do. If you want to go exploring the sea looking for buried treasure to dig it up and then sell the gold, you can do. If you want to go and go hunting various monsters and the undead and things like that, again, you absolutely can do. There are epic story arcs that you can get involved in. Some of them are themed around various different intellectual properties like Monkey Island and Pirates of the Caribbean, of course. You can go and do those as well. But the entire point of Sea of Thieves is it pretty much requires you to crew up. It's kind of like EVE Online. You can solo it, you need to be very good to solo it, but it is so much better when you are playing with friends. Because even a standard sloop, the smallest ship in the game, you need someone who can control the anchor, someone who can steer the ship, someone who can change trim and set the sails. You want someone who can man the cannons. There are so many different roles, and yes, you can theoretically hoist the anchor yourself, set the sails yourself, then run to the helm and start steering, and then when you get close to an island, you can trim your sails and drop your own anchor and have to leave the helm. If you get into a combat situation, you can kind of set the boat in a direction and then start manning cannons, and then when you get holes blown in the side of your ship, you run down below and start patching it up. But if you've got a crew of friends with you, well, that's all much, much easier to perform. And certainly if you want to be sailing something like a galleon, well, yeah, you're kind of going to need to have some friends with you. So that is the introduction to the game. It is this open world that you can do whatever you want. And yes, that absolutely does include blowing the ever-living daylights out of other players. You don't need to go and plunder your own loot from all of these missions and that. You can just wait until some other ship passes you by, blow whopping great big holes in their ship, board them, shoot them with a flintlock pistol or stab them with your cutlass, and then make off with their loot. It is absolutely fantastic. It is every bit as incredible as that sounds. So what I'm going to do today is just showcase some of the adventures that I was having with Luke the other night, and you can let me know what you think. If you enjoy this, please do let me know. I would love to make more content on this game. No game has grabbed me quite as firmly by the throat recently as Sea of Thieves has. You can see I've already done a little bit of a payment here to make sure that I got myself a really cool cosmetic outfit. My ship matches this as well because I just wanted to have something. It is purely a cosmetic game. Like, if you are playing for three hours or 3,000 hours, your Cutlass, your Blunderbuss is exactly as good as mine is. There is no difference between any of that. It is purely cosmetic. You go and do stuff in order to get gold to buy more cosmetic. It's more experiential in that, that kind of regard. So it's not going to be for everyone, but I freaking love this. So drop a comment, hit like if you want to see more of this. Otherwise, let's stop talking about it and let's actually jump in and showcase some of the highlights of that session. It's much further. Oh, wow. That is, is that our ship? Is that our ship? Yes, that's our ship. Oh, wow. That's a lot bigger than a sloop. Okay, let's uh, figure out. Hang on. I'll, I'll remember the right button for the damn thing in a sec. There we go. That's Q if you're bringing up the uh, wheel. I love that it automatically picks the same song oh, yeah. as well, so we are playing it. 
So first things first, it was time for us to set sail, learn the ropes, quite literally, and go off on a fairly basic encounter. We were just going to go and find some skeletons, kill them for the order, and bring their skulls back as loot. Ultimately, this should have been fairly simple. The island was close by. It was just kill a few skeletons on a nearby island and bring their skulls back. What could possibly go wrong, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Quick, drop the barrel, drop the barrel, drop the barrel and shoot it, drop the barrel and shoot it. Just make sure you're far enough away because they do... Um... Did you not see that? No, I'm on, I was back at the ship. It's on footage, but I just got an amazing big explosion. What the heck just hit me there? Well, I'm off to the ferryman. Well, they're gold. They're gold ones. You need to lure them into the water to uh, so they start rusting, and they'll be very more impervious. To sh they'll be more susceptible to shots. Yeah, you kind of see them spark and glow a little bit when they do. Okay, these plant are plant skeletons. Ones. These will heal if they go in the water. Yep. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Okay, yeah, I've got this skull. We need to get these skulls back to the uh, island. Or back to the ship. All three of them. And not only we can't mm -hmm. pick up a second one, can we? No. We could bring the longboat round. Ah, uh, that seems more effort than it's worth. <laughs> It's literally directly behind us. 180 degrees turn around due west. Right, let's we'll see if we can do that with what we've got here. Oh, you're weighing anchor. Okay, cool. I'll sell then. So there's a little spit of island we've got to dodge around as well. Left. Left. Yep, left. Yep, 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 yep. I was about to say, I was going to kind of just more drop left. anchor here ish. Oh, oh, more left. <laughs> More left, you're going to run us aground. It's shallow. Plunk, plunk the anchor. Plunk the anchor. Right. Hard, hard right, hard right, hard right, hard right. <laughs> plunk the anchor down. Hard right. <laughs> I'm as right as I can be. Like, literally, the helm doesn't go any further. But the tutorial theme. There we go, got it. Ah, well done. Magma's Grail. Pretty. Yeah, I have no idea what we do with these. Yell when you want anchor. Now. Close enough. We may uh, have a right. Some, well, yeah, we may have some holes to patch. It's a, it's a big hole. Yeah, we kind of hit that one pretty hard. With our loot in hand, and not one but two little missions completed, we headed back to the outpost, and this time went with the gold hoarders on a treasure hunt using a magical compass to locate the booty. In finding that, once again, Sea of Thieves opened up and cascaded with us. Rather than just finding the booty that we were searching for, we found all kinds of really awesome stuff en route. We fought sirens, we fought ghosts, we fought skeletons, we threw up from eating bad meat and we came back with the absolute mother load of treasure oh this has a compass not a map yeah it's definitely this one and dropping anchor 
It's the usual. I think I've got it. Yeah, here we are. Got it. It spins when you're right, right on top of it. Got it. First time. Nice. Oh, and skellies up here. Oh, oh, there's a shipwreck to our left. Where anchor? Uh, I mean, there's, a, there's loot on it. Yeah, but that's sometimes just the rain. Oh, look at that! That was beautiful. Make sure you jump to the right of the mast, though. Got it. So there is more inside the ship as well. It's fine, just bring the chest aboard. Have you looked up already? Uh, what's that? Horn of oh. Fair Winds. Cool, take that. Gotta go up to go down. Oh, pomegranate. So you're going to want to turn the sails back the other way because we're coming up we're going hard to pull. Who needs wins? We might not need the third part of the map, you know. We've got where the cross is and we've also got the majority of the island. We could probably figure it out. I mean, that is also true. Talking about good parking. Do you want to check how bloody close I am to that rock? Have you done it? Ooh. The shark awaits in lonely rocks near twin palms beneath the great rock spine. Near twin palms, lonely rock. Come to where That's I it. am. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, it's well hidden. Secret tunnel. That's a lot of gold. Um, vault, puzzle, timer. Basically steal as much gold as you can before the time runs out and you get sealed inside. Is there a big chest in the middle we should be opening first? Enter uh. solution. Solution? Oh. Raise lanterns to light braziers and uh, replace vault medallions. Where's the vault medallion go? Uh, at the very front of it. We need to find that other medallion. Dude, just get out. Just get out. Yep, there it goes. I mean... Have you, have you seen this? Seen what? How much we just got. Oh yeah, but we still need to get it back to the ship. Uh, yeah, do you want to wait here and I'll go get the boat? I don't know how you're going to get the boat in here and then get the boat back out again. Have you seen all the little shark bones and stuff? Yeah, I can row in here. We left the rowboat, remember? Yeah, we did. Okay, this is going to take a while, but it's okay. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. 
Nope. Sorry. Hey! Yep, did it with the loot. <laughs> yeah, pretty much perfect. Yeah, that's much faster. Oh, yeah, they're gun skeletons as well. Incoming! Incoming what? Shots. Yeah, let, let's not die now. Yeah, the fortress is opening fire on us. I think Where's we're okay. that bloody horn? Where's that horn? Where's that horn? There. Just get a bit of extra speed under us. Thing. I might need you to just check our head in, make sure we're still going towards, uh... Now, when I said earlier that we came back with the mother load of treasure, you can see how much we actually got from that. And what should be noted is that we were playing on Safer Seas, which is essentially a private server, the income for which is dramatically reduced. I think it's like less than 40% you get. In fact, it might even be as low as 10%. I'm not sure. Someone who's played Sea of Thieves longer than me can let me know in the comment section down below. But essentially, we made out like bandits. And had this been on high seas, well, we'd probably have been sunk by other pirates, but if we'd got it back, we would have had dramatically more gold. But just what an amazing experience to go out on some basic little encounters and missions, to go off on these quests, and for the game to just kind of unfold and unfurl like a flower. It's like, oh yeah, you're out here doing this thing, but here's a message in a bottle, here's this, here's that, here's a shipwreck that you're going to pass, here's a key to a massive treasure vault puzzle, and oh my goodness, I just want to get back on a boat, go sailing, and find more of this stuff. It's not just go and do the encounter and come back, that would be boring as all hell if that's all that Sea of Thieves was. It's the fact that by doing some of these little missions and encounters, the game just adds these little breadcrumbs and sprinkles. Some of the items like the stone key to the vault. You could just sell that to one of the merchants and make some basic gold off it. Or you can take it out to where it's supposed to go on your own little adventure and make a story out of it. Sea of Thieves is right up there with EVE Online, Stellaris, as one of these narrative experiences. It's not necessarily about winning or being amazing at it. It's not about being necessarily the best, although absolutely that is something that you could pursue if that's what you want to do in-game. It's about getting on board a ship with a crew of your mates and just having a good time. Building a natural narrative that just emerges whilst you're playing. What started off as let's go kill some skeletons for some gold turned into a madcap adventure on the high seas that had us launching ourselves out of cannons trashing the ship finding shipwrecks and treasure vaults and just going on a swashbuckling adventure more of this please and if you folks have enjoyed this again please let me know in the comment section down below hit like subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to join me in sea of thieves come and join my discord if enough people are showing an interest in sea of thieves absolutely i will set up some games times to play with you all because i am in love with this game i want to be playing so much more of it to the point that the entire time i was editing this video i'm recording this post edit just before i clip this on to the end i just wanted to be in game i'm watching it going oh man i don't want to be watching this i want to be playing so heck if this looks like your thing come join me there's going to be plenty of content to come for this i'm having a literal whale of a time i hope you are too have a good one folks happy sailing and see you all on the sea of thieves